It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1658, recorded Thursday, January 18th, 2018. C.E. Yes! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have just gotten back from C.E.S., so we have a jam-packed episode full of CES gadgets from Anchor to Foldy Mate to even First Alert. We have all the gadgets from the show floor in Vegas. All next on The Giz Whiz! It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, Dr. Gadget himself, <laughs> Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? I'm, I might need your doctor skills. Uh, uh, I think so. I can hear. I detect a little bit of mange yes, in the mainstream. It's not just my deep announcer voice that may, in fact, be a cold or a flu. Um, no, no, but you you contract. survived CES all right. I, I survived CES just fine. Apparently, the geeks are cleaner than we thought at CES. <laughs> uh, and then I shipped out directly from CES to PAX South, which is in San Antonio. And then I caught the con crud, uh, the, dreaded, the dreaded funk. Um, and I have something. I do know, I don't know if it's a cold or if it's the flu, uh, basically the same thing. Um, and, but I do know that this year the flu has been one of the hardest in recent years. Um, I, I have heard multiple people just talk about it, bring it up in conversation. And then I had some friends, I do a lot of work with Game Changer Charity, and they go into hospitals to whenever, you know, there's a convention or whatever. And uh, I was talking to some of my friends that were able to do that, and they were saying almost no one could come out of their rooms because the flu season is so bad, none of the kids could come out to meet anyone because of uh, wow. the flu season. Yes. Yeah, they're calling it. I think yeah. they're right. It's up, upgraded to an epidemic, not just... Oh, my word. Yeah, no, Dennis... Uh, yeah. Worse? I can't remember. Uh, Dennis has it, and he was feeling... I said, finally said, you know, let's just go to the doctor. So we went to one of those... Do you have those walk-in MD places? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There? They're great. They're just absolutely great. You know, instead of making an appointment, you walk in, it takes like 15 minutes to see a doctor. You see the nurse first. And she said, well, if you think it's the flu, we have a 10 minute flu test. What? And they, yes, they swab both nostrils. They throw it in some gunk. And she said, you will know in 10 minutes. And then about 12 minutes later, the doctor walked in with a card and said, do you, sir? Have the flu. Wow. I yeah. would love to try that. What a gadget. We should review that gadget. Yes, we should. We we should do that. Yeah, exactly. So he got all kinds of, you know, antibiotics and stuff. And it's now five days since the doctor's appointment. Uh, for the first time today, he walked out the door. So he's feeling uh, better. Uh, that's that's so. about where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I'm at the... At the I brought the stool from the other studio, so in between <laughs> takes, I can take a rest and work the monocaster while sitting down. That's about where uh, I'm at. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I spent more money on so that we could have meals together, rubber gloves, every kind of spray <laughs> of bug killer. Yeah. So Dennis, Dennis is <laughs> Dennis said, I feel like I work at Subway because I'm sitting here with. <laughs> Peeling bread apart with my white rubber gloves. You have the the hairnet on and the yeah. <laughs> the surgical yeah. mask. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's but, hilarious. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I've I also said this before the show. I I feel like it's become um, a stereotype of me. Any time I go to a convention, I come back sick. I stay at yeah. home in my little you know, bubble of, of my own germs. And then when I visit the outside world, I come back and I have, I have a cold or a flu or something. Oh my so, God. So, yeah. Well, we have so much for you guys. This we, episode. we have, yeah, we do. We have a lot of fun stuff. And as we promised everybody, we have so much fun about Foldy mate. And when we saw that they were there, 
That is the first place Chad and I went. And here's what we found out. So we're here at CES and, of course, our darling, Foldy Mate. We promised you an update on Foldy Mate. Uh, so Chad and I said, let's divide up the chores. He said, Dick, I'll talk about it. You fold the clothes. You do the laundry. So Dick's going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is a prototype. This isn't the actual version that will be shipping. And there goes a shirt just like that. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like, but the internals are actually missing. It'll be available at the end of 2019 for the North American market. Oh my gosh, so easy. And it'll be under $1,000 at $980. That looks like it's a good color for you. That is a good color for me, okay, and all right, perfect. And we have to get our Foldy Mate guy back here to show us what happened. So where does it, the clothes come out? They right come there. out right here. Oh, okay. oh, oh. come back, clothes. <laughs> there they go. Here, they're easy come, easy go clothes. Yeah, I just want to keep up uh, folding clothes more and more. Exactly. But once it's done, you just get a stack out and put it in the closet. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, a perfectly folded shirt. And what's wonderful is it gives you extra clothes. I put three things in. Look at how much it made. All right, so obviously that's a joke. And this is more like what the machine will look like. And did you talk about when it's coming out? Yeah, end of 2019. Okay, so until then, we'll be wearing wrinkled clothes, but in 2019, we're gonna look spiffy. Dick D. Bartolo and Chad on the Gizwiz Show here at Gizwiz.tv. Bye. So 2019. Yeah, you know what? Isn't it weird that because last year, let's see, last year they just had like a cardboard box, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And now this year you can put clothes in it. Yeah, they and have the for mechanism a minute, to grab see, the clothes. Yeah, 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 all it does is grab the clothes. Because for a minute you think, oh, it's folding them up. And then wow. you realize, well, wait a minute. They didn't get folded up in the order I put them in the machine. So I guess basically that arm just takes them and throws them out the back of the machine, right? Yeah, yeah, no, if you didn't notice, he just would open up the front and there was just a pile of clothes and he'd take them and put them into the bin to the side. <laughs> Yeah, no, just inside, there was just a pile of, of oh, unfolded oh, oh, clothes. Okay. Oh, okay, and then down at the bottom, they had these neatly things. Right, exactly. Every, I, the every... first time I saw it, I was like, wow, did that just place that at the bottom of the pile? Because <laughs> they had the same clothes uh, that was in the folded section as was in the unfolded, so it kind of looked like it was working. Yes, but, yeah. except you would have to follow the exact order that yeah. they had stacked them in. Uh, you know, the company... We know this from last year. The company builds ginormous versions of this for uh, professional cleaners. Right. And their object was to take one of these gigantic machines and bring it down to something. Well, you saw there is sort of the size they're going for, like half the size of a Coke machine. Um, but now this is year. This is one full year later. And now it's almost another full year Until before it now. It's yeah, two I, years from now, end of 2019. We got to get through 2018. Oh, the, yeah. That's one yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes, in yes. through 2019, that's two years. Uh, does it, uh, it seemed like they really jumped the gun with showing the, the product off maybe last that, year. Maybe that was the problem. And also, maybe does it really take three years to develop a product like that? I don't think when you're in that market, it, maybe if you and I were doing it, we yeah. would need 10 years. Yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah, and a lot of funding, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so it was cool to see them there again. It was cool to yes. get an update. But yes, I and, would and, say a little bit disappointing in the reality of it. Exactly. And, and someone in the chat room said there was another company there. I think the other company, I walked by them, I think they're at the place where Foldy Mate was, and, and I saw someone walking yeah, away from it. I think, is the... Yes, exactly. And I, someone was walking away, and I think he was saying to the other person, 
they're talking ten thousand yeah. dollars. So I, I I I don't know if they were talking about the folding machine. It looked more like a folding room. It was like yeah. an enormous, it's humongous. Anyway. Yes, yeah. humongous. Uh, humongous. At the end of the day, my thought process is: How hard is it to fold clothes? You know, is this a thousand dollar issue that I that no. we're dealing with? And I don't think it is when you can buy a piece of cardboard that could help you fold clothes and. <laughs> and get a yeah. fine looking yes. pair, you know, yeah. it's like maybe there's a market for uh, the elderly who can't fold as well, but it's like, I don't think that this is a, a <laughs> now, someone is saying that I did get a $1,000 mixer, um, but that was a limited edition mixer, okay? That was, you know. yeah. But I'm, and, and also that, mi- I saw that mixer, that mixer does fold clothes. <laughs> It does. It is, it, it in is a an very ADL, cylindrical fashion, but it's folded yes, it nonetheless. Yes, it does. It does. It heats up and it warms the clothes, and then you have to do exactly. a little bit of something. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I own ten shirts and four handkerchiefs. Right. So, if I could rent that for ten minutes, I could fold my year's worth of clothes. Um, it was just kind of a fun thing. That if you had the ultimate household, you'd take it from the washer, throw it in the dryer, and then feed it into the folding mate, and they would come out, and then you would drop it in the drawer. But Do I don't think, think that that's like for a you. laundromat would ever have something like this. It's like you can you rent go. it for ten minutes. You know, rent the folding mate for ten minutes, and you know what? That now there you go. Yeah. Now that is a concept. Yeah, that yeah. is a concept. Maybe I'll put one here at Disneyland. There you go. Start. And during during the meetups, we can say, you know, meet Chad, meet Dick, and fold your clothes. And fold your clothes for for ten dollars a minute. Ten dollars. Uh, that's yeah, it. Exactly. That's it's it. Perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, so we we got the update. That was what we said we needed was a folding mate update, and we got it. Wasn't as impressive as we thought, but no, but that's okay. No, I thought they were going to be further along than that. I agree. Um, all right, so now we're going into oh, actually going into your another Come gadget from you. Correct? Yeah, so we were walking around looking at products, and of course we're always looking for the interesting, the strange, the 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 stuff we haven't seen before. And uh, I saw a sleep mask there that does all sorts. So let's check t- take a look. Um, at Dreamlight. Hey guys, it's Chad and I'm here at Showstoppers 2018 and we are checking out Dreamlight and this is by far the most advanced sleeping mask I have ever seen. So I'm here with Tina. Tina, could you tell me a little bit of what is built in to this sleep mask? What is included? Okay, this is not just a sleep mask. It's also a whole sleep aid system that helps you get better sleep through light, sound, and also the science. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, like, show off a few of the things that you may use it for. Oh, uh, first you just need to put it down, like a sleep mask. The the lighting system is a mimic of natural human breathing. You just need to follow the pattern. You have to put it down. There will be orange. Right pulsing lights here. and yeah, You have to put it on your face, otherwise it's not gonna turn on. And also we can play audio here. The system have offered you white noise, natural sound, and light music. You can also mix up the soundtrack according to your personal preference. Fantastic. You can also, put, you can also play your own music as well. And so how would you control all that, through an app? Through an app, I can show you. From this little application, click here. You can adjust the volume. According these are to the four different mixes you could choose yes, from. Yes, yes. And if you're left-handed, just click to here. It's very user-friendly. It's pretty cool. Yeah, fantastic. And so uh, when are you hoping to release? How, how are you releasing the product? Uh, we're going to launch it on Indiegogo in the middle of January, which is next week. If you are interested, you can support us there. Perfect. And then what is the, like, uh, you're probably not set on a price yet, but what about might it cost? Um, the early bird price on Indiegogo is only $100 for a full function one. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you around Showstoppers 2018. Okay, so it is, uh, she said it wasn't a sleep mask. It was a sleep aid system. Um, so the idea is that you use this mask, and they did show me another working version that had the lights working. You guys didn't get to see that. 
Uh, but the idea is that almost you would go into like meditation to to learn to to lure yourself into sleep. And I'm a, I'm oh. a very bad sleeper, so uh, this would this would be perfect. Uh, they do have a website, dreamlight.tech is the place where you can find out more. And you can see all the different photos. And built inside of here, it was a little bit hard to understand, but built inside is some LEDs around the eyes. You have speakers inside of the, uh, the, the extra parts of the mask. So that this oh, it comes in an airplane. Oh yeah, exactly. Free round trip flights wow. on United. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Um, and so it, there's a bunch of technology built in there. There's even a panel on the front uh, for you guys for 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 uh, con uh, controlling um, the mask. Now they said that this was going to start uh, sometime you know mid January, and it looks like I I don't see the Indiegogo up quite yet. So it looks like they're still trying to get. Oh, that. there it is. One oh. day, Chad. Oh, dang it. We did it two days early. Oh, gosh darn it. So by the time that you you guys are listening to this and watching this podcast, uh, it should be up on, on Indiegogo. Dreamlight.tech. Dreamlight.tech is a great place for you guys to find out more. Um, I don't know if I'm, if I'm sold on the whole shine light into your eyes to help you fall asleep. I, think I would I buy it if, if it had br a Broadway function. <laughs> So that I could fall asleep with Broadway, a Broadway spotlight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, then I'd get it. You know, some people fall asleep during the movies. And it sounds like you fall asleep. <laughs> or, the, or the podcast. Or the podcast, yes. Or the TV shows. Yes. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I'm not 100% sold, but it does look like it has quite a, a lot of innovation. And it also looked like it was very comfortable. It looked like a very yeah, comfortable. Yeah, that it does. It, it does look like uh, a lot of thought went into it. Uh, okay, so that is Dreamlight, and uh, hopefully they'll release on Indiegogo uh, sometime soon. With that, Excellent. we went over, uh, Dick went over. Uh, yeah, I went over, and you know, like you said, we were looking for unique things, things we hadn't seen before. And so when I saw a sign that said Pogo Cam, I wondered that that was, and I met Josh there, and Josh told me all about Pogo Cam. <laughs> Dick Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv, CES 2018, looking for unique gadgets. And, you know, sometimes I'm walking around and I think, if only I had a camera, and you know what? I have a camera, okay? This is Pogo Cam, and we're going to talk to Joshua here and find out what Pogo Cam is good for. So, Joshua. Hi there, thank you. My name is Josh Schoenbar, Chief Commercial Officer of Pogotech. So Pogotech's unveiling Pogocam here at CES 2018. Pogocam is a 5 megapixel camera. It also has 720p HD video with audio, 100 stills, or up to 3 minutes of video. Pogocam comes with a portable smart case. The smart case will recharge the camera three times on one charge. It also has 16 gigabytes worth of storage, so to, uh, and you can dump all the, the, the memory from here onto the smart case. And the smart case also has Bluetooth as well to transfer to a mobile app and see all the status, how much memory, how much battery is on the camera. The whole purpose of the camera is to be versatile, choose your own style, be fashionable, rather than incorporating the technology into your eyewear, such as Google Glass or Snap Spectacles, ours you can put on virtually any frame, which is really special and something that's very different. The camera retails for $149, and it comes with three different size pogo loops, which we're both wearing right now. And if you buy it from our website, it'll also come with a free pair of pogo track sunglasses. Pogo Track is a proprietary metallic strip built into the side of a pair of eyeglass frames, and we license this to global frame manufacturers, including Foster Grand and Ocean Pacific. And uh, it attaches either via Pogo Loop or Pogo Track magnetically. I have nothing to say, except uh, I know you can only do 30 second video clips. Correct. So why would someone be happy with just 30 seconds of video? Sure. So we did a lot of market research when creating Pogo Cam. Why 100 photos? Why 30 seconds of video? Uh, up to three minutes of video, but 30 second snippets. And market research shows today that the videos that people are actually watching, 10, 15 seconds at length, 
people desire perhaps longer and longer video, but the actual consumption of what people are viewing is actually much less. So these are really recording snippets of life or really experiences in your moments. So we're really trying to have a video, a, a video camera and a photo camera that really allows you to capture experiences while they're happening. Very interesting. As, as a matter of fact, we met one of our uh, fans here at the uh, at CES 2018 and told them about this, and they said, God, you and Chad, if you just did 30-second <coughs> podcasts, I'd be very happy. Well, anyway, if you want to do that, it's Pogo Cam. Pogocam.com? Pogotech.com. Pogotech.com. Dick Bartolo, Maz Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz, one take data here at gizwiz.tv. Look who's holding the camera, ladies and gentlemen. We are a multi-purpose team. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Pogo Tech, uh, the Pogo Cam. Um, my first impression was, it, I think it needs to do a little more uh, than the than what it's doing right now. <laughs> Basically, is thirty <laughs> like seconds a, of video, and right. you could store up to three minutes of video. Uh, so uh, you know, six thirty-second clips. Um, uh, or you know, well, then, then yeah, and then when you put it into the case, it offloads it. It offloads it, but right. that seems kind of like a hassle. Like, okay, I have it on. It seems like the whole point of it would be to. They're not aiming for the like major game, like uh, sort of like how GoPro is going after activities and crazy event and you know things. You know, they're not aiming for that segment. Uh, so it seems like it's, they're almost aiming for the. Um, <laughs> I don't know what segment they'd be able well, for. Well, like, I, I, I think the only thing I, I can think of is people who throw quickie clips up on social media. Yeah. That I, Because I asked Josh about that, and he said, you know, that people make two- and three-minute videos, but people yeah. usually just watch the first 10 or 20 or 30 seconds yeah. of it. Um. I almost, you oh. know what would turn it all around for me is if it was yes. constantly recording and then discarding that recording. So if you clicked it, it would save oh, I, the yeah, previous 30 seconds uh, that, because that, if it was always on and recording, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, I just don't feel like there's a lot that I need from my perspective of it seems like this extra device that you have to carry around when I have my phone with me anyway, and I have to have the case with me to have the little camera. You know, you have this little camera that detaches, and then you also have this case to offload the video, and then you also have your phone because you're just always going to have that. It's just too much. That's okay. I, like. Now, I, li I like the fact that if you're at a convention or something, it would just be there, and you would just hit that as opposed to... Which pocket is my phone in? Yeah. Or God forbid, it's it's in a Scotty vest. It's one of uh, 131 <laughs> exactly box pockets that it's in. Um, and you can so anyway. Um, they're sending me one, so I'm going to try it and see okay. what, it, what I think of it. You know, it. yeah. But, you, anyway, I'm not yeah. I'm not un uh, flippable. Like like I could be convinced why this would be a great product. Um, I, just like the, my first impression is. I don't see the use, but that was just my first impression. Yeah, I know. No problem. No Ooh. problem. We're easy here. Okay, yeah, now exactly. we're back to you with where did you we we uh we had we had a Chad and I will be honest with you we had a falling out over who was eating the last apple tart uh, yeah. on the dessert table, exactly. and I said Chad you go your way and I'll go my way. And um, so we went our own ways. Uh, yeah. But on the way, we each found gadgets. So what did you find? So I ended up finding Rove, which is actually our friends over at Anchor. And uh, they'll tell you more. I think I, I talked. I forget who I talked with. Let's, let's hear okay. it from them, though. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm here with Eric Eric's from Anchor Innovations. Now, Anchor, we've known Anchor. Anchor's been in our lives for a very, very long time. Um, but there's been sort of a brand change recently. So let me know about that. Well, yeah. So uh, most people know us by Anchor. 
so that's our heritage brand. We launched in about 2011 and we became a leader in the charging space. We have a lot of great products here at CES. But over the last year, we've actually launched a few other brands. Uh, you can see around us, we've launched uh, Eufy, which uh, is our smart home brand from appliances and smart speakers. We also have our Rogue, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, we have our Nebula brand, which is kind of smart entertainment. And then we have our Zolo brand, where we're trying to bring smart audio technology into the market. You kind of hear a theme there, smart. So in not all, but many, we're trying to find new ways to bring in voice commands and voice services into the products, but also make sure we're creating a product that makes sense. So that leads me to this. So tell me, this is the uh, Rovi, Rove, Rove? Rove. Rove Via. And tell me a little bit about it. Sure. So we have a obviously very close relationship with Amazon, and we talk to them a lot about products. But we figured, you know, we want to do something unique uh, with Alexa, and what better to start with something that brings our charging heritage to life? So first and foremost, plugging something into your uh, your car charger, uh, you immediately lose a very important feature in your car. I have three kids, right? Uh, everyone's always out of juice. So, um, which I shouldn't say because I'm anchor. I'm never out of power. You're never out of juice. <laughs> just that means you need to buy another battery, right? But so we started with that idea: is putting two uh, fast chargers in, and then uh, the other aspect is creating something that we it's called a stealth. So if you're going to put something into the car, you can keep it there and not have to keep removing it, which I think is really important. But what we do is we actually bring two far field microphones into the car along with Bluetooth. Uh, that helps obviously improve the audio experience in the car. It's been tuned to that. You plug it in. You uh, your phone's already paired with your car. You don't have to change that. But just like a regular pair of Bluetooth headsets, you just pair this with your phone, and through our app, you're ready to go. And what that's going to give you um, is voice controlled dialing, voice controlled navigation, voice controlled music access, and then obviously thousands of Alexa skills. Uh, you know, whether it's a joke. I think you're the burying the lead here. It gives you Amazon or Amazon Alexa connectivity. It does, okay. absolutely. So, and then you're mentioning, so uh, I wouldn't plug this into my car's audio system. That would go through my phone. It goes through your phone because you need internet, right? And Alexa works in the cloud. So, uh, ergo, it connects to your phone. Your phone connects to your stereo. Yeah. Perfect. And then, uh, so you can do like almost all of the Amazon feature, Alexa features, so adding things to list, getting directions, times of... Correct. Uh, as long as there's a skill associated with it. Um, now, the difference is we're the only ones right now providing the sort of voice navigation and dialing. This is a unique thing that we brought to the market first, and uh, it's been actually a pretty exciting process to work with Amazon to refine this. Fantastic. So, if I wanted to, I could say... Echo, lock my doors. I'm saying Echo just so I don't set off everyone's uh, <laughs> right. yeah, devices uh, while they're watching the show. The button thing, all right? <laughs> you can push the mute button. <laughs> Whenever you're watching Gizwiz, you can hit the mute button. Um, fantastic. So I can say lock the front door if there's a skill associated Absolutely. with it. Absolutely. That's a great point. So if you're using uh, smart home products, uh, this can control them as well. So if you come home and you want to turn on the lights, you can absolutely use this to turn on the lights. Well, fantastic. What's the price point? $49.99. Perfect. And when is it available? Today. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Eric. Yeah. yeah. Nice See you all around. So uh, Alexa in the in the car is basically the, the product. Is uh, Anchor is creating Alexa in the car, which I think is brilliant because the... What you really want, the dream, is that you would have your Echo or your Google Home or whatever everywhere. So even if you're in the car, even if you're in the living room, even if you're out and about, you can just say, hey, add that thing to that list that I need. I can't forget that. You know, you just say oh, it into the air. Oh, what list is that? You have so many lists I can't remember. What do you think I am, a computer? Exactly, exactly. Hey, don't you argue with me, computer, okay? I, I, I'm the boss here. Um, yeah, exactly. You only paid forty nine dollars. Leave me alone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You got to pay a hundred dollars for the uh, for the assistant <laughs> that will actually listen. Yeah. Um, so so that that's the idea is uh, you plug it in, you get two USB ports, and then you get Alexa skill inside of your car. And I'm still a little confused on how the audio between all the devices work. I, uh, I assume you have to connect to Bluetooth with the Rove via, 
and then a second Bluetooth connection to your car stereo or possibly an aux connection to your car stereo. I don't under, or like a, a CarPlay connection. I'm not exactly certain how you get from the two far field microphones through your phone back to your car stereo yet. Um, so yeah, so, so, uh, but, but all that said, not exactly sure how that works, but it, it the promise is really, really cool. And of course, um, Anchor is a company that, that we like, and, uh, this is just an, a new brand Rove, uh, from them. So really, really interesting products. And what's Absolutely. funny is last year I was at the Amazon event where Amazon was announcing, hey, we want you know, this Echo technology to be everywhere. Put it in all your products. And, and it took about a year before I started seeing it in you know, random car stuff and other, other home connected devices. So it's good to see. Uh, do you think this is something that uh, that you'd want? Yeah, well, yeah, the, what's very funny is that the gadget I'm going to talk about has also incorporated that person, Alex, the, f the female version of Alex, uh, into their device. So I was over at First Alert, and First Alert has this one-link system, and the one-link system is where you have a smoke uh, detector or a combination smoke CO detector, and if it goes off, it alerts all the other one link uh, devices in your home. So they were, I guess they were thinking some of our one link devices have a voice in them that tells you what room the, the emergency is in and whether it's a CO emergency or a smoke emergency. So why don't we put in a really decent speaker and then add alexa to that so this way you can have alexa in every room and you know and, and as you're saying you can go in and, and and tell alexa to play whatever music you want or ask alexa what the weather is the, the the same thing you're talking about now you have the ability in your car now you would have the ability in any room <coughs> that that there's a smoke detector. Yeah, and that makes a lot of sense because a lot of my smoke detectors plug directly into the ceiling. Like when they made the house, they brought the wires around. And so there's actually a plug for that to use. And it's the perfect location. There's nothing in the way. It's up in the ceiling. And that's also a great location for a speaker. So exactly. You get speaker, echo, and uh, the smoke alarm and CO2 detector. Exactly, exactly. And and it, it's called the First Alert One Link Safe and Sound, which I think is a very clever name. <laughs> that is clever. Is it? Yeah, Safe and Sound. So you have your alarm and you have uh, music or whatever you want in each room. So um, the Safe and Sound is 249 that's the new deluxe model, and that's going to be out in the next month or so. And then a little further down the line, I believe she said summer, there'll be th all the same features minus Alexa, and I, I think minus a great speaker, uh, just a voice that'll tell you what room emergencies are in, and that's going to be 149 But the three-in-one, which has the premium home speaker, uh, Alexa-enabled, and uh, the actually, it's like a lot of features. It's smoke, it's uh, CO alarm, it's voice, it notifies your phone. The deluxe model actually tells you on your phone, no matter where you are, there's an emergency in the basement and it's a smoke emergency. Uh, so you get a lot of information. Uh, so I think also that's another easy way to have Alexa. Uh, do something decent yeah without and, having a, a second a unit in the in each room i think i also said co2 i always for some reason uh, uh, yeah, say yes, yes, CO2, CO, yeah. but it's just carbon monoxide it, it, not carbon monoxide. dioxide C, yes it's just co uh and they are coming out with it, it doesn't uh, detect soda <laughs> no it does not that's not and there is a uh uh, a Google version coming out. Something is playing. You know, oh, oh it's my Alexa. Stop. Alexa, stop. <laughs> we need, <laughs> there needs to be a professional <laughs> name 
You know, yes, you they say, have, yes. you know, like Echo doesn't seem enough, you know. No, just, no. You know what? They should make it so that when you buy it, it you would rename it Dick's Alexa or Chad's right. Alexa. Right. So that she, you could even have two Alexas in the same room. You know, and Google buy, does something very similar. Oh, but they do. They, they voice print. So uh, I've had this sickness and I've noticed, I'll say, hey, you know, <laughs> say the, the phrase that you got to say, and then I'll say, you know, remind me to take my medicine in four hours. And I'll say, we do not recognize your voice, so I cannot set oh, a reminder oh, that, for an unregistered user. And it's like, I am me. And so I have to like high pitch, hey, set an alarm for four hours from now, you know, and try to sound more like myself. Um, and so, and it's really, apparently if, if you have, uh, more than one user in the house, you could set up multiple Google accounts. Oh. And so you could add oh. things to your shopping list instead of just the, the list. Uh, and it uses, uh, the voice detection. So it wouldn't, it would That's... still, it would still go off if, if it heard someone on a podcast saying it, but it wouldn't save it to, if I said order a thousand bananas, it wouldn't actually do that on your account. It would say, I don't recognize this voice, um, so so I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> yeah. I cannot order 1,000 bananas. I do not I think you. you're an imposter. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to another house where I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, yeah. Google does a really cool, cool, cool job with that. Um, Awesome. Uh, that is the one link. Yes, as uh, the one First link, link. and uh, we're going to do this again next. We have some other uh, business to to uh, carry on, but we're going to do uh, another CES show next week where we, Chad and I, we did not go to the main halls. We, d uh, I didn't. Did you? Uh, the, well, I went to the South Hall and North Hall. And okay. All well, I mean, I did not go to like the uh, watch the five thousand. Uh, uh, inch screen that has, uh, oh, gosh, you know, 19 no. K and no. all. No. Yeah, no, I didn't do no. that. Do, we, do we, we went to, uh, play the first alert video. I don't think we ever did that. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's see what um, we I'm thought. Sure. I, that was the longest intro in the world. So Chad, <laughs> let's see what, what I learned at the show. Hey, Dick DiBartolo, Mads, Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. So I got a press release about a new smoke detector that has Alexa in it. You know, so like you can say, Alexa, is my house on fire? Alexa, did I pay my fire insurance bill? Now, I'm not sure it works that way, but we're going to find out exactly Say it again, Tar Tarsilla. Tarsilla is going to tell us about the One Link. Actually, they're, they're actually they're great looking. Yeah. They so tell us about how Alexa works in this. Sure. So the One Link Safe and Sound has Alexa built into it. So all you do is just say, "Hey Alexa, um, what's the weather like?" and she'll tell so you. You can ask all the normal questions you. Everything you ask to Alexa today on an Echo Tower, you can ask to your One Link Safe and Sound. C can you ask her to play music? Does she have speakers? Yeah, the speaker is actual a very premium speaker that leverages your home ceiling uh, for an acoustic uh, for a premium acoustic experience. And are they sold in pairs? Um, so it comes in one. It's one unit, and you can mix and match. So we have the version that has the speaker and the built-in Alexa, and we have the smart smoke and CO version, where it's just a lower price point, and you can mix and match as you please depending on the, your home's needs. Okay. Now, if you had two units. Would they play stereo or? Yes, you can have all of them play the same song for a party mode kind of thing, or you can have them play different songs. If your child wants to listen to something and you want to listen to something else, that's available too. Oh. When you hear smoke, it's in your eyes. I think that's the hint that the smoke detector has gone off. Now, what's the price point? So the price point is two forty nine, and it's available on pre-order right now on Amazon. Okay. Now you said there were two different uh, features. Are they both two forty nine? No. So the full three in one device is two forty nine. That's the one link safe and sound, and that's the one that's on pre-order. And then the one link smoke and CO alarm will be launching later this year, and that will be one twenty. One twenty. Okay. 
And the website is? The website is firstalert.com slash one link. Oh, and I forgot to say, it also has Apple HomeKit. And it will have AirPlay 2 as that becomes available. So you can really choose the platform of your choice. Amazing. I like this. Dick Bartolo, Man's Madness writer in the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at CES 2018 Showstoppers. Bye. All that said, we like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm Love glad. It. I'm glad you saw it. Oh, and I should point out the three in one. I'm not sure about the lower price version. The three in one has to be hardwired so that Alexa can be listening at all times and play music and do all those other things. So that would go through batteries rather quickly. So um, the three in one is a hardwired unit. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now. We, this is uh, kind of, you know, a different show. This is uh, just the CES stuff. So uh, let's jump. We're, we're going to miss. We're missing the warehouse. We're missing the letter. We're going to jump, jump straight into what the heck is it? Uh, this is the game show where we take a look at a gadget from Gadget's past and try to figure out what the heck it is. Play on gizwiz.biz. Just scroll down and click the what the heck is it banner on the site. And this is the gadget. This is the full gadget. Nothing but the gadget. Uh, and th it's pretty obvious to me uh, that this is a cheese grater for the lactose intolerant. Um, so <laughs> if you want to grate your cheese but actually can't eat cheese, this is the perfect cheese grater for you. Uh, if you think you actually know what this is, uh, we have six uh, Mad Magazines signed by Dickie D for correct answers, but double the Mad Magazines, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, interesting, and ridiculous answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. Also, we love to thank our patrons. Thank you so much, Patreon, and our patrons over at Patreon for supporting the show every single week, patreon.com slash gizwiz. Is this is Independent Show 141. Nice. Oh, my gosh. We're, almost, we're coming up on the 150 mark here. Uh, yeah. 141 independent episodes, all supported by our patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, we, it's easy to say thank you to the patrons and kind of lump everyone who supports the show into that group because I know that there's also lots of people who have been giving on PayPal as well. Humongous thank you to you. So just know that every time we say thank you to our patrons, we're saying thank you to our supporters. You guys uh, really, really help the show so, so, so much. Um, and if you enjoy the show, consider uh, supporting just a little bit, either on Patreon or on PayPal. You can go to gizwiz.tv, click the Patreon banner at the top, and then uh, there's a PayPal link on that page. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we should mention that I believe we are out of viewer videos. Oh. So next week, we're going to do another CES show, but then we need viewer videos, okay? A two to three minute video about anything that involves a gadget. Our favorites are gadgets in your warehouse, in your cellar, in your kitchen drawer. Uh, and we know from the emails that people love seeing other people's old gadgets because they go, oh, they write in, oh, I'm so glad you showed that because I have that in my kitchen drawer down the cellar or my, I had that when I was a kid. So make a little two to three minute video. It could be something you just bought and love, something you just bought and hate. Uh, make a little video, put it on YouTube. Uh, when you click upload, there's a little down arrow. Uh, don't make it private, then no one can see it but you. Uh, just click unlisted if you want only people you send the link to to be able to see it. Uh, and that will include us. So send us the link, uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., the same with the what the heck is it. If you live in the U.S., um, actually, it's two different prices. <laughs> if, you, if we use your video, you get the current Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman photo. 30, it's the 
paint the uh, picture now is about 37 years old. And now that man has moved to California. I don't even have access to more pictures, but I grabbed about a hundred oh, out of the stock out of the stock room before they packed them up. Actually, uh, they said, you know, if you need some to give away, take a bunch, uh, which I did. Uh, so you'll get a, a Mad Magazine and an Alfred E. Newman picture if you live in the U.S. And no matter where you live, I will autograph one and email it to you so you can print it out at no matter where you are, hang it on the wall, and no one will know because it'll have your name on it that you printed it out. And we've done that three times now, and people say, looks great. No one knows that you didn't actually mail this. So make your video. Do it soon. We need one in we need one in two weeks. Uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Get that video online and the link to us. Thank you so much for everyone who does that. And that about wraps it up. You can catch us live at gizwiz.tv about every Thursday. We should stick to that schedule moving forward. Uh, so check us out on Thursday at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. And you can always catch the show on demand at gizwiz.tv or iTunes or your favorite podcatcher of your choice. Even YouTube now. Uh, see y'all next time on the Gizwiz. Take care, Chad. Feel better. Thanks. And next week, I'll be here. <laughs>